Music has the ability to transport you to a place. It's not just about Orkney as a specific location, which is a wonderful, wonderful, rich and individual place. It's about transportation. It's about taking you somewhere else from where you are. And even if you don't get the chance to go to Orkney, perhaps you can go there in your head a wee bit, just for a moment. So whether it's real or imagined, I think this idea that things that you hear and things that are visual have that power to transport you to that place. It's the smallest, most remote of the Orkney Islands, and it's kind of the most isolated. It's an absolute joy to hear recordings that somebody's taken the time to capture in their environment at that particular point in time, whether it's 6 a.m. or 6 p.m., whether it's sunrise or sunset. Every time you play it, I'm immediately brought home and I'm imagining where they are and where they've been taken. Yeah, it's lovely. The field recordings themselves can go into this old task and forge that I've had since I was 15 that I started to learn to write on, or record at least. You create these, these four individual layers that come from the source material of the landscape and then you can create extrapolated drones out of it. The wind turbines created a, a really interesting rhythm, quite naturally, in their pulse. So that felt like somewhere that we could add a bit of rhythm to the track. That's where I start, and that's certainly where I've started on this piece and, and my latest records. Trying to find sound palette to work with before throwing myself into traditional orchestration. What made this project interesting to me was how you were approaching the application of how to use this new technology in an elemental way. Looking at this remote island that's self-sufficient, running with the narrative of people, place, of, of sky, of, of nature, of sea and land and I love this idea that you planted microphones in these locations to capture in real time the recordings that not everybody hears. It might be Trevor Spence up on the wind turbines on his, on his own for most of the time, but we'll be able to hear that audio and capture it, take it back to my London studio and hear it at any point in time. And then hopefully that will inform a musical element. Hopefully I'll be able to Maybe I'll just sit there and, and, and listen and feel like I'm back home. <laughs> I'm really intrigued to see where this goes and I hope I can do it some justice and create a piece of work that kind of is born from the landscape itself, is here. I'm only ever trying to capture the essence of this place or this place to me, my Orkney at that time where I grew up. It's the elements of Orkney that do that. It's the sea. It's the air, it's the land, but it's the community, it's the people, and it's the myth and the mythology that I find draws me back time and time again. <laughs>